I'm Larry Menti. Welcome back to Jersey Matters. They are using art to try to deal with mental illnesses. To talk more about that is Pam Ullman, who is president, and Laura Sally, who is the past president of New Jersey Art Therapy Association. What is, what is art therapy? Art therapy is basically you're, you're taking the theories of psychology and combining it with visual arts. It's an established mental health profession that's been around quite some time. Um, and we are trained in psychological theories as well as visual arts at a master's level. Um, and most of us work um, within a team setting, either in medical placements like hospitals or mental health facilities or even schools with special needs. So it's, it's really um, a, a not a complementary, but sometimes a primary mode of uh, treatment. Do, do people go through other types of treatment first and then they say, well, you should try this? Is that well, yeah I, yeah, I mean, I, I think that yes and no. Uh, there are some uh, individuals that have been very successful uh, going straight through, and then there's others who maybe have some roadblocks because it's very difficult for people to maybe speak about a problem. They may try a creative arts approach. Now, Laura? What, what, now, so I, let's say I came in. What, what happens? What, what's the process? Well, <clears throat> it depends on where the art therapist is working, and we work in a lot of different settings. As Pam mentioned, uh, hospital settings or um, uh, clinical settings or schools, so it kind of depends. And then there's private practice, so it really depends on the setting you're in and the clients that you're working with and how you would start. In my private practice, when they come in, what they usually do is we spend about five minutes sort of catching up, how was your week, just like you would with any therapist. And then the bulk of the session is making art. And usually it's thematically uh, based on whatever goals that the client is working towards. And uh, then the end of the session, we stop making art and we look at the art and talk about what does it mean to you. Um, so it's not really our job to interpret the artwork as much as it is to sort of ask leading questions of the people who make the artwork and what does it mean to you and maybe look for some patterns or ask you know, other questions to help them find insight that they couldn't normally find. And I, I have a couple of adults that I work with now who are in my private practice. They're teachers um, and they say to me, I can't draw, I'm no good at art, um, I'm not, not creative, and I, well, why are you here working with me? And they said because when they do the art, it helps them see things about themselves that they didn't realize. And that's why it works? Because yeah. things come out that normally would, that wouldn't come out in conversation? Yes. Well, what happens okay. is, uh, depending on the style of the art therapist, uh, very often the art can really relax the person to speak more and, and bring out some, some of their feelings. So in other words, um, words tend to be more about you know, what we're thinking about art tends to be more about what we're feeling. So if you combine those two, mm -hmm. it's really an excellent way to really look into yourself. Uh, I, I, this is the first time I've heard about it. <laughs> Do you think sure. that most people know that this is an option for them? Well, it's interesting that you say that because right now in New Jersey, you know, we're really pushing to educate the public about art therapy. And in fact, Laura will speak uh, soon about some of the great things uh, that are happening. Um, but it's starting to get more recognition. Um, I believe that you know people are referring to us, uh, those who feel that uh, they need a different approach, that other approaches haven't worked, um, and I think that the credibility has grown in recent years. It has to be more than an approach, though. For you to be successful, yes. there has to be some successes. Absolutely. So you must have some people that think, this really, really helped me. Mm -hmm. And it, it, and it can't, so it's not, this isn't the last resort, it's a step in the process and it's a step that's working. Is that fair to say? Well, that's true, that's true. I, I do believe that um, it also helps to, you know, have the support of where you're working, extremely important. I happen to be very fortunate to be in a medical setting which um, the other professionals, the nurses, the doctors, uh, the rehab specialists all believe in what I do um, and they want to learn about, you know, what that type of therapy can do in conjunction with the treatment that they're doing. Um, so being part of a team is really important and being part of a facility that supports that um, is also important.
Now you said it was coming, so let me talk about the licensing in the state of New Jersey. Sure. So, so to be, uh, let me make sure I got this right. Well, you tell me. Do you, so from now on, you're going to have to be licensed to to do our therapy. If our bill is signed by the governor, then yes, you would need a license to practice. Are there people that are doing it now that aren't licensed Absol that you don't think are qualified? Yes, everywhere, all over the place. And I had one lady, I called her and I said, you know, you're advertising, you're doing art therapy, but you don't have the credentials. And she says, well, I've taken a few classes, you know, and that's not obviously the equivalent to a 60 credit master's and five years of supervision. So it's, it's really scary because there's harm that you can do to the general public. If they don't know the person that they're working with doesn't have the right uh, credentials, there's, for example, you could give somebody the wrong art materials and it could make them worse. They could end up being worse than they were when they came to see you in the first place. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for enlightening me and good luck with the bill. I really appreciate it. Pam Allman, president, and Laura Sally, past president, Thank New you. Jersey Art Therapy Association. And to find somebody that is qualified and certified, how would somebody do that? Okay, well, we do have a website. Um, it's www.njartx.org. I know that's a mouthful, but uh, we do have um, a lot of uh, great qualified people to answer questions and to direct people that are interested. Okay. Thank you both for being here. When we come back on Jersey Matters, we are going to continue talking about the medical field and talking about the closing of hospitals, especially in poor areas that are being replaced by something called medical malls. That's when Jersey Matters continues.